Hi, I'm Patty Donovan, the Vice President of Membership and Events at the Open Group, and I am here in Taipei, Taiwan, with Jim Hytella, our VP of Security. Jim, I had a lot of highlights from the week, but I'd like to know what, um, in particular, were some of your highlights. I noticed there were a lot of security forum folks here, and that's a great thing. So, yeah. So we had uh, we did a security track here, um, and uh, kind of the highlights of it, we had a fellow by the name of Anthony Lai. Uh, who came here from Hong Kong, and he's uh, spoken at conferences like Black Hat and DEF CON in the U.S. Mm -hmm. He's a well-known security researcher, uh, and he gave a, an interesting presentation on the advanced persistent threat, and uh, some of his research has looked at where does it actually come from, so he, he collects samples of uh, attacks on specific companies mm -hmm. and can track them back to clusters of attackers in different parts of the world. So. Uh, fascinating presentation that looked at kind of where the advanced persistent threat really emanates from. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that was definitely a highlight. Um, and then we also had a presentation from Steve Whitlock at Boeing who talked about uh, kind of what's broken in the current internet uh, today and, and what enterprises need to do from a security standpoint looking forward. So mm -hmm. uh, kind of what are the best practices, things that uh, they need to do and really that the industry needs to do uh, to enhance security for companies. Um, and then the third presentation that was a part of that track was from Dennis Taylor at NASA. Mm -hmm. um, he and Steve are both longtime security forum members and uh, Dennis gave a great presentation on what NASA has done around identity and access management uh, and enabling smart cards and, and biometrics and things in the, in the NASA network. So, so those are really the highlights here in Taipei from a security standpoint. That's great. You know, one of the buzzwords I've heard uh, recently is hacktivism. person doesn't know anything about hacktivism is me. Can you tell me a little bit about hacktivism and what we have planned coming up in San Francisco? Sure. So um, hacktivism is really a pretty recent term and phenomenon uh, that really talks to using hacking to achieve social means uh, and, and activism, hence the, the kind of mm. hack and hacking and activism. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we thought it'd be interesting, given uh, the rise of hacktivism out there in the world with Anonymous uh, doing attacks on different organizations for, for social purposes. Is this like the what happened in BART, the exactly. Bay Area Rapid Transit in San Francisco? Exactly. Right, okay. So um, using hacking to, to try and propagate uh, some sort of social agenda. Hmm. Uh, we thought it'd be interesting to invite a well-known speaker to our San Francisco conference, so we've invited Joe Men who's the author of a book called Fatal System Error, uh, a, a pretty well-known and popular book in the information security community that looked at Russian cyber criminals and their impact on, uh, on various things. So he, he actually tracked um, attacks out of Russia and some of the, the things there with uh, a UK police officer who went to Russia to try and arrest cyber criminals there. Fascinating book. Uh, and he's recently done uh, kind of a, a in-depth study on anonymous and what's happened in the hacktivism world. So we thought he'd be a great speaker to come in San Francisco and talk about this trend. And then we have another agenda on the, the conference um, uh, uh, in San Francisco to look at you know what can organizations do to protect themselves from from hacktivism and, and these sorts of attacks. So that sounds great. You've got a lot of good stuff going on. Another thing that I'd like to uh, have you explain or talk to us about is the uh, TOGAF and SAPSA white paper. I know you've been working on it for a while. So can you tell us a little bit sure, about that? Sure, yeah. So um, uh, it, in the Rome meeting, which is now I guess a year and a half ago, uh, folks from the SAPSA Institute approached the open group about uh, doing a paper and, and an effort uh, to, to help align TOGAF, which is you know popular enterprise architecture development methodology, with SAPSA, which is a secure architecture development methodology. Hmm. So um, what they were seeing and what some of our members also were seeing was uh, in some organizations, TOGAF being used to develop enterprise architectures and SAPSA being used independently to do security architecture development. Um, and, you know, obvious thing would be to try and make these things work well together so that practitioners of TOGAF could plug in SABSA very easily and use artifacts from, from one with the other. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had an 18-month effort with folks from the SABSA Institute who own the SABSA intellectual property mm -hmm. and methodology with uh, some of the security forum and architecture forum 
members to to bring that product to market so that's great because that's taking a, a project and involving a lot of members from and cross forums and things so that that sounds great yeah and it's and even outside of the open group so right. we brought a, another organization and uh, the group worked very well together and produced a really valuable piece of work Right. When, when's that going to be ready? Is it ready now? It is ready now. It's on the website, and uh, there'll be a press release out about it next week, I think. Great. You've got a lot of good stuff going on, Jim. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right.